Hey there, you legends! Welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy with me, Pocket Gaming. As always, I hope you all are having an amazing day or week. Uh, for them who are new, if you missed last episode, go check that link out in the top right corner. Don't want to say it was boring and there wasn't too much action, but it was beneficial because we got four assignments done and spells learned, new spells learned. So yeah, go check that out. Once you've checked that out, come back to here and we'll continue the story together. Now, I'm thinking that Professor Weasley's mission is next. Normally, main quests flag up as yellow on the map. This isn't, so... Well, this isn't, but I believe this is part of this what we have going on so we met with poppy so we met with poppy just before last episode where we found the poachers lair where they had dragons fighting each other like a little secret bunker sort of thing we released the dragon so if you want to go check that episode out that is the one before the last um uh, yeah go watch that get caught up so the next mission install for this little for this little assignment is we got to complete professor weasley's assignment so what we got to do so let's cut that um i need to find the field guide pages for the book intermediate transfiguration in the library as well as the field guide page about the underground harbor uh so level 20 required we are level 20 and then rewards is transformational Okay, so I'm guessing this transformational will help in the room of requirements, so let's go do that. Click the field guide page in the underground harbour. So I've marked it, so hopefully it should show us where it is. But yeah, welcome back guys. Awesome to see you all here. There's Peeves, the poltergeist. Uh, up through the door. Run, 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 run. I have noticed the music's changed as well. We have snow on the ground and the music sounds a bit jingly, as so though it's Christmas time. Oh, here we go. Underground Harbour. This is new for me. I didn't even know this place was here. Okay. So this is the Underground Harbour. Yeah. The Underground Harbour. Okay. Oh, stone skipping. <laughs> Uh, Reveal. Reveal. Oh, sorry. Golden snitch scarf. We will check that out. Aha. Midday school uniform. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm guessing it's a page. I was hoping to see it. Floating around. I don't know. Is this it? Underground orbit. Ah, guide page. It is this. Located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard is the landing for boats delivering first year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. Yes. Okay, there we go. That's that one done. And now we go find the other one. Uh, there's definitely nothing else to. Uh... Yeah, there's another chest aside. Look. Oh, it's one of them with the I wonder why we open them. It's finding them everywhere. I just want to open one. Okay, let's uh, let's go. Hmm. 
Righty ho! Uh, the next one is. Oh, it's not too far away, to be fair. Okay, well, let's go do this. to jump off the end. He won't let me. Uh, oh right. dear. I shall get in trouble for this. I think I've gone the wrong way. I think I've gone the wrong way. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Ah. Aha. Here we go. Head to the library we go, then we gotta go upstairs. Here we go. That's right. Oh, sorry students, didn't mean barge out the way. <laughs> so dozy off. Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Yes. Frankly. Professor Weasley asked me to uh uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Really? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. Uh, that could be bored if I must. If that's the only way I can convince you to give me that book, then let's get it over with. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Go Before on, then. the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh dear. This is going to test me, yeah. My Hogwarts knowledge. Yeah, it is rusty. Is there an answer to this? Do I know this? Should I know this? Let's, uh, let's take a guess. The Golden Snuggery. No, incorrect. The answer was the Golden Snidget. I was going to that as well. The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Uh, liquid luck, um... The Pepper Up Potion. I'm afraid the answer was Felix Felicis. <laughs> Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Ah, uh, we're not doing so well here, are we, guys? <laughs> it's a good job I haven't got to get any right to get this book because I'll probably get them all wrong. Uh, the tale of the three brothers of four magical artifacts. Horcruxes? Horcruxes? No. The answer was the Deathly Hallows. <laughs> According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Uh Oh, this is embarrassing. The Quaffle. That's right. <laughs> when Chaser throws right. the Quaffle <laughs> through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. True. True. Actually, the answer was false. <laughs> While polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And no, I won't you. be giving you any more easy questions either. The next <laughs> ones will be more difficult. <laughs> they were easy. Oh, my life. Yeah. Not a true buddy uh, Harry Potter fan after all. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. No. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. 
I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. <laughs> As you can see, I got one. <laughs> so yeah, I would love to know how many you guys get right. Okay, so let's Revelio. Revelio. Uh, this book is designed to help the guide of students who wishes to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley often recommends it to her advanced students as a bit of light reading. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend okay. transfiguration. So let's go back to Professor Weasley. I believe it is. Uh, oh, 10 transfiguration class during the day. Yes, so let's go do that. And let's go learn this new spell. Uh, out. We've got to go out. I was not. Word is. Not. Come on, Dad. Open the door. Open sesame. Hey, kitty cat. Hey, kitty cat. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the Here we go. into an owl to stop students from cheating. Beautiful. Yeah, this is the first time we've been in here, I think. Oh, she turned the owl into a book. <laughs> settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Oh, okay. Ready? Go! Oh, this. Oh, oh. There we go. Easy. Easy. Yeah, butterfly. Beautifully done. Dismissed. And remember, now is nice. not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. Uh, so that was this one, wasn't it? Okay, let's, can we practice? Can we transform a student into a frog? Nope. <laughs> okay, let's speak to Professor Weasley. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Smash and eat my meat. Uh, the assignments have helped despite spending so much time on assignments. Okay. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Um, yes. Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Thanks, miss. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Well, 
Oh, sir. Ready? Ready, dummy? You ain't ready for this. Glad to see you were paying close <laughs> attention to my demonstration of the transformation spell. It's a barrel. Good for you. <laughs> Blew it up. Get ready. It's Bombarder. It's dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. Mmm. Okay. The helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there. Expelliarmus. Okay, so we've got some mentioning something about gobbledygook. Yes, we have some new quests that have just come available. But by the looks of it, they're both locked. So let's check out what we've got to do. Uh, okay, so level 22 required, level 21 required. What level am I? I'm near 21. Not far off. So, uh, uh, smash it once to meet. Uh, ah, okay. Crookie. Crucio. So we'll go meet Sebastian about this one. And hopefully that will put us up a level so we can then meet Sebastian. No, meet Lovegok. Okay, so let's go meet Sebastian. We'll all go do that. Let's go meet Sebastian. Okay, let's uh, let's wait for Sebastian. You're here, brilliant. I'm here. Let's talk. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately. Only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Okay, let's go. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Oh no, lead the way. So I can't quicker than There he is. Good there luck. he is. Okay. Come on. Give what me some information. Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? Please, Ominous. I confided in you before about what happened with the Undercroft. Sebastian simply wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about our house founder and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is best left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, She'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Okay, aren't you curious about what's inside? I understand your caution. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. 
You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. Okay. I hope I... we As don't regret this. Sebastian, over Where's here. He? Easy, These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, ominous. Is it something to do with this? Um. Incendio! Okay. That's one. That's three. I wonder if it's a clue. Is that it? Hmm. No. What are... All together at the same time. Aha! There we go. I hope we're ready for this. Here we go. We're in. What boys? That's it. Come on then. We need some light. Rebellion. No. Ooh. What's all that? Just let up. Ah. Looks like a locked door. We may want to get around. Uh, we're locked in now. Right, uh, well, I wanted this. Lumos. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salzar Slithery than we realise. I have written to my brother. He now knows how I access the corridor's entrance, and that, that there is no straight path to the reach. No straight path to reach this scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. Noctua Gaunt. A journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? I didn't tell me. Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why well, I think this could be dangerous. Repair her. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. No. I was just waiting for him to stop talking before I uh, did repair her. So, there we go. And repair then... her. Maybe something to this pile of rubble. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing Lumos. a snake. There we go. That must be the voice I hear. Oh, we're going down the Harry Potter route. The voice is ancient, sinister. Yes. Come on, man. That is. Speak with one. Oh, about the hissing. All right, okay. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, "Speak to me." I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I wish all Slytherins could talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. No, come on. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. Lumos. It's the Chamber of Secrets. Come up. It worked. Ominous. You possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Okay. Let's, let's... Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult this? to solve. Can we light this? The door we came from. We couldn't light that, but we light. There's more than one gate ahead. 
Then look closely at each gate for clues. Yeah, couldn't get me weird up then. <laughs> uh, ah, use. The dial requires focus. Thought not to have said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Ah. That was fluke. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. Lumos. Of course you were, Sebastian. Nice of course work. you were. Ah, okay. I like these secrets. <laughs> uh I failed the dial and it struck my face as if it was a real serpent. But I must find a way forward for my family's sake. We should not require children to conform to old traditions. The scriptorium must have proof that there is more to our legacy than meets the eye. Okay. Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite. Good for you. Another, another welcome sword, was it? There we go. <laughs> Excellent work. Lumos if you got it, you've got it. To the That's all as I can say. Not a clue how I'm doing it, but we're doing it. Did that open this gate here? It did. Come on, get your arse in there then. Oh, there's another one here. Alright, oh, okay. There we go. And we're gonna get locked in, I reckon. Uh, Salazar Slithery buried his scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around in these dark corridors. I am a descendant, and yet I feel unwelcome. Lighting these bridges in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I will make my way through. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor aunt. Are we going to fight a giant snake at the end of this? Another game. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Okay. <laughs> we uh. You sound surprised. We're in a maze designed by Salazar. Right. Okay. This is time. We're gonna go this way. Symbols, and there are symbols on the dial. Oh, okay, okay. So the fluke, the fluke isn't working this time round. Right. So what we've got? So we've got. Uh, a set at the bottom and something that looks like right, so I'll drink that because the stink can kill me. Uh, that and then. Yes! That sounded Lumos. I thought the snake was going to have you again then. <laughs> I thought it took too long. Nice work. There we go, we're through. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This Another note. Place is Hang on. Revelio. Another note. Lumos. Uh, extraordinary. This journey is painful but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder. Salazar Slithery. Intended more than what we've become. I know it. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. Okay. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Uh, oh dear. I'm turn around then. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again. Salazar three. Slytherin is not yet finished with us. At least us three are together. That's my main concern. 
Crucio. Oh, who scream? Uh, I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable case. Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Sledri created a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I had invited him here. Now, if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. Ominous. So, yeah. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here. Blocked by an unforgivable curse. Mm. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous. Calm I'm down. truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. Come on, Ed. What's the plan? You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? Uh, okay. I'll he ask. does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Let's go. Let's speak to Ominous. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. Come if you on. cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Uh, Sebastian is not going to do it. <laughs> what do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. Oh, right, okay, so we've got some good options here. Very well, I don't want to learn... There, yeah, the curse. <laughs> uh, I want to learn the curse, but you must cast it on me. Teach me the curse, and I'll cast it on you. Ooh. Here we go. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Yes. Here we go. Is this the bad decision? I don't know. Let's go. Hello. Get me quick. Oh, yes. Ready? I'm ready. I'm not ready. Wait. Yeah. 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 Are you right? It's working. Oh yes, we're in. Are you all right? No, that oh, pain, dead. it was excruciating. <laughs> but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. Nice. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Oh, I can't Rebellion. believe it. Oh, what's this? Oh God, I don't... Sebastian, Spalding. ominous. There's a book just here. 
You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? You can have a look in the man. What's a city? A secret and well protected room beneath Hogwarts where Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent time making various long term plans with respect to the student population and reflecting on disagreements he had with other founders. Okay, nice. Don't ask me why I spend that, I don't know. Uh, ooh, chest. Sorcerer's hat. Yeah, we're finding some good stuff here. Look at this. This drink's probably been here for about 2,000 years, and here we go. Oh, well. <laughs> ooh, what have we got here? Man, more reading. Are you ready? I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. I had dared, I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the calibre of students needed to be exceptional. But he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter. Thoughts he had not yet put a voice to. I tell you off the Discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of inept children. Masquarding. Children masquarding as witches and wizards. It is with every heart that I know now I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until I, until it can be awakened by one who shares my views, a descendant willing to reverse the damage that others have so so carelessly wrought. One who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. That was a big read. <laughs> Please do not fall asleep. <laughs> ah, okay, let's give dear Sebastian the book. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now. I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I've explored Revelio. I've taken everything I can. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without well, both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Uh oh. Do we leave up here? Ah, okay, okay. Slytherin dungeon. Who's just broke something? Who's that? Oh, bye bye. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. Mm. I meant what I said before. We swear right now. Never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Quest complete in the shadow of the study. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty glad I got to do that. That was pretty fun. Still not quite level 21 just yet though so we're going to have to uh do another quest i believe can we go back in ah we can travel back in that way okay uh so you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before i invented flu powder very cool uh let's have a check see what we could do the lost child Natty has learned a wizard of a wizard in Lower Hogsfield, who has been harassed by the Epilius Hollow, Rickwood's right hand man. Okay, so Natty's got a problem with Rickwood's right hand man, so let's go meet Natty and hopefully 
that should be enough for this episode and then we can go and do the main quest next episode Okay, let's uh, let's go speak with Natty. Hey, up! I thought I fell off my broom then. <laughs> hey, what? Is this Rickwood's right hand man here? <coughs> oh, suspicious. Very sus. I've been studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the <coughs> underdraft. I found something. Okay, Sebastian will do. Let's speak to Natty. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. Okay, let's go speak to this lady, Joanna Bickle. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband? is dead he killed him oh i'm terribly sorry mrs bickle who killed your husband theophilus harlow i'm sure of it he's been threatening my husband for weeks and oh where is my son where is archie okay i don't mean to be grim but could harlow have taken him archie's satchel is missing so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave. In case he comes back home. Uh, what can you tell me about Harlow? Let's do Is this. there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What? What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> right, okay. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not Let's... worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. Oh, Natty, I didn't realise you were with me. I was hoping to fly When <laughs> I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend mm. Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. Uh, oh, we need something this, more. Ooh, wow, look at the skeleton. This here. must it's be Mr. Archie's oh, hideout wow. that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. There was a little footprints on the floor. Hope of finding out which way he went. There's a letter here. Hang on. Uh, Revelio. His footprints. He went this way. Oh God! Uh, the Hebridden, Hebridden black is a large dragon that can grow to over nine meters in length. A large, rough scale, originally belonging to one of those beasts, is one of the prized possessions that Archie Bickle keeps in his hideout. Okay, okay. Uh, so what? Ah, this way. Beg your pardon. What's that? Rabbit. A rabbit. Red rabbit. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Rebellion. Then Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We Why must not? find Archie quickly. 
Let's go find Archie. Then hopefully this will put us up a level. And like I say, next episode we will continue with the main quest. Oh, here we go. Right, hang up. Hang on. I like that one. And then hello uh, with the big boom. Oh, I want to do that and then. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I'm trying to win. Uh... There we go. <laughs> oh! I thought you shot there enough. Did you see that? Cross paths with that wolf pack. Where's uh, Mongol? Here we, we go. We should look around. Revelio. <laughs> Did you see that dodge? I couldn't have timed that any more perfectly. Oh, we got a satchel here. Here we go. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Yeah, well. Well, stop seeing. Well, right, Natty, give us a clue. No, don't follow me, like. You Rebellion. know, I'm one. Actually, some... went this way. Which way? There we go. Ah, there we go. I have a bad feeling about this. Hollow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. Well, can we kill Harlow? I hope he didn't see Harlow, Harlow. kill his father. Harlow. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio? Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. That's right. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, do we can we kill Paulo now? Get him out of the way. That would be handy. What are these? Oh, I've got some of these. Got some of these myself. Horse dragons. I like them. Thestrals. They are beautiful, are they not? Yeah, they are. Yeah. You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. Oh, here we go. We got a camp down here. Look. What? I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. Revelio. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I. Mm. Let on, us then. keep moving. Yes. We must find Archie. Come on then. Sorry to like uh, interrupt you. Very sad story. But come on, we gotta find somebody. Here we go. Taking in children. <laughs> what happened there? That sort of just froze. Chop you it off. I need you though. Need some life. Your life is nearly down. I need some more. Rebellion. What we got here? Come on. Okay, there's my life refilling. Please. It's a 
pity you can't make potions on you, can you? Uh, no. Can't do no Wigan World. Ooh, forgot I got two of them. What's in here? What have we got here then? Oh, okay, okay. Alright, let's have a look. What? I did not expect again. this tent to be so large on the inside. No, neither that did I. That complicates things a little. Yeah, bloody damn right there, it does. Oh, there's a step. Didn't know. Do have we got find Archie Pickle? Can we? Um, 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 can we like be invisible? I understand. Shall we do it this way? I think we should do it this way. No clue to where we're going. Oh, chest. Thank you very much. Uh, so we've come down here and we can't go any further than this. So it looks like we're going to have to go back up. Can we go in that kitten? No, we can't go in that kitten. We definitely can't go that way. Right, okay. Back up the stairs we go. Um Yeah, it's that way it's just oh. what? Oh. Well, I <laughs> messed up, that's <laughs> uh. Get out your bubble! Anna, can't see me. Fight for me. <laughs> uh, Nazi, what do we do? Oh, it's a zombie. It's a zombie. I'm gone, 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 I'm to check out the new spell. Well, I sort of like threw myself in the deep end there. Uh, I was actually, when I was in like invisibility, I was actually going to go like that. Um, I can't see nobody talking. What do you mean somebody's talking? We need life. Can't find our life. What's up? That tells me to pick something up. Rebellion. In a minute, Archie. In a minute. We need to find some stuff. Ooh, can we? No. Up the stairs, though. Hang on. Yes. 
We need a lot of money. In a bit, Archie. Two seconds, dude. At least I know you're, uh, you're alive and well. Oh, okay, I think we're all done. Let's go downstairs. Rescue Archie. Someone help me. I need your... Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Hello, Hello one lock. Here we go. Um. There we go. That's that one. And then. Easy. I'm Uncle Tarlo. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. Okay, here we are. We've got Little Bickle back. Little Bickle? <laughs> We've got Little Bickle back. <laughs> oh, maybe so far. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go speak to the bully. Oh, Archie, you're here. Oh, oh, you're safe. Mother? Oh, Mother? Come on, eh? Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe, Mr. Filbert, and I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Here we go. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. He's already after us. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. Okay, there we are. Level 21 and then Logcock's mission is now available. So we will do that next episode. So please do come back for that. If you've enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, come on, please subscribe. That would be amazing to so have you all on board. And lovely to see you all in the comments too. So yeah, as always, have a good day, have a good week, whatever you are doing. And I shall catch you all back here next episode. Cheers, guys.